Well, we know it's important to eat our fruits and vegetables every day, but some people can't afford fresh produce or don't have access to healthy options. That's where our May community partner Katie's Crops comes in. The nonprofit is not only feeding the community, but also getting kids and teens interested in gardening. I think you might dig it a little bit deeper. Much like her garden. That's perfect. Katie Stagliano's journey started with a seed. I was in the third grade. I planted a tiny cabbage seedling that was like this big, and that tiny seedling grew to be a 40 pound cabbage. This 40 pound cabbage was the size of my four year old brother. Far too much food for her family, so she donated it to a soup kitchen, and Katie's crops was born. If you would have told me at nine years old that my life would be forever changed because I picked a tiny cabbage seedling up from school and brought it home, I would have thought you were crazy. From a seed to a full-fledged facility. Now I would say our garden here is about the size of two football fields, which is amazing. She still grows food to donate. So last year was actually a record-breaking year here in our flagship garden, which was so exciting. We grew 8,850 pounds of produce just from this garden. This year we're hoping to hit 10,000, but since Katie's crops began in total, we have grown and donated over 600,000 pounds of fresh produce. I found the first one. But the garden is also a classroom. It doesn't matter how young these kids are, they're able to get their hands dirty, help those over to the scale, be immersed in nature, learn to be good stewards of the earth. I'm definitely on watermelon. And really learn where their food comes from. These potatoes tried to grow. And she's inspiring kids across the country. Her Katie's Crops Grower Program helps fund gardens and provides guidance for others who want to start growing. We have 100 gardens growing in 30 states across the United States. So I think the craziest place that we have added gardens is actually in South Africa. She also feeds hundreds of people in need at the monthly Katie's Crops dinners. To be able to provide fresh produce, especially to young children, senior citizens, those who are struggling with medical issues means the world. And she wants the growth to continue. We desperately could use some more arbors in the garden and we have some other projects. So if you're handy, skilled, have power tools, but right now we can desperately, desperately use storage space, especially climate controlled storage space and refrigerated storage space here in Somerville to support our Katie's Crops dinners. My cabbage has led me down a path of youth service and a mission to end hunger, one vegetable garden at a time. And now here we are, I've graduated college. Why don't we let that one get a little bit bigger? Kitty's Crops is my full-time job and I'm just so excited to see where it goes in the future.